everyone so today I'm going to do a Dollar Tree toy haul and I only got three things but I really liked those three things so I wanted to share them with everybody and um, in case you don't have a Dollar Tree near you at Dollar Tree everything in the store is a dollar or less so it's a cool place to find some bargains uh, the first thing I got was this mermaid kind of like uh, imitation Barbie doll and she's pretty cool. I like the uh, orange mermaid tail and it's got like flowers and everything on it. And then she's got a little outfit on and her face looks pretty. And then she's got like orange streaks in her hair. So let's go ahead and open this. I wish they would have had other colors, um, but at ours, they only had the orange. But I do believe they had other colors. I've seen videos, I think, where I saw other people get them in other colors. But... Let's go ahead and see how her hair is. And I think her hair kind of got stuck like in her neck. Can you see that? Yeah, it's kind of weird. So let's see if we can, I don't know. I might have to try to get that out later when I have more time. But other than that, the fact that her hair is stuck in her neck, she's uh, in pretty good shape. I She's made of decent plastic. I mean, not, you know, Barbie quality obviously but the face and head is made really nice except for you know the hair being stuck and uh, The arms are a little cheaply made and look like they'd pop out pretty easily uh, Let's see. I think this part probably pops off too pretty easily. You can tell kind of There that it looks like it probably pops out pretty easily. I do like the outfit I might keep that even if I don't keep the doll I'm not sure if I'll keep the doll or not yet, but I do like the outfit, especially the skirt. That's a cute skirt. So, not bad for a dollar. I think it's a pretty good find for a buck. And then, um, along the lines of the Barbie thing, I got uh, one of these outfits for Barbie dolls. And I really like some of these dollar outfits that you can get because, you know, a regular Barbie outfit at Toys R Us can be, you know, seven, eight bucks for one outfit, which is just kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So I like that these are a buck each. And I mean, honestly, sometimes they're as good a quality as the Barbie stuff. So um, I did get, this package was a little bit messed up, but the stuff inside it was fine, but I did get it because it was one of the last ones they had of this kind. And here's the little purse that it comes with because that kind of uh, slid out where the side had been uh, unpeeling a little bit. But it's a cute little heart purse. And then I really love the shoes that came with this. And I'll show you the shoes. They remind me a lot of kind of the superhero shoes that Barbie came out with not too long ago. So I just think they're adorable. They have like little butterfly wings on the back here and like lace up and a flower on the front here and they're this really pretty kind of pearly pink so I just think these are really cute I love these shoes and for a buck you really can't beat it and then let's take a look at the actual dress we can take it out of that and I mean it's really cute it's you know pink and has some pink and green flowers on it and uh, the underside here is made of kind of like a, a stiff fabric and then it has kind of like this cotton tooling over it and the top part here is like you know kind of like an imitation silk or something like that but I think that's a really cute outfit I'll definitely put that on my Barbies and see how it looks it doesn't look like it has velcro or anything so I guess you just slide it up and hopefully it'll fit okay but I just thought it was a really cute outfit I think it's supposed to be kind of like a fairy outfit or something but I'm not positive and then the last thing I got for a buck, and I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff. I'll put the doll back there and the outfit. I'm not sure where the purse went. Oh, here's the purse. And the last thing I got at the dollar store was this blue dragon. And I just, I really thought it was a cool looking dragon. And it comes with, like, its wings are kind of flexible. You can move them or even, you know make them flat pretend or whatever and I don't know if you can tell but um, on, on the blue paint there's like kind of a silver sparkly type thing to make it kind of metallic I guess which I really like and you can see I mean it's made pretty good especially for something from the dollar store I mean it's solid plastic it's not like hollow or anything like that 
And I think they did a pretty good job on the faces. I like how this one has, you know, blue fire coming out of his mouth. And this one has his mouth open, but he doesn't have anything coming out of it. And uh, this was the only two-headed one that I saw there. They had a red one that had like one head. And I think those were the only options I saw, but this was the last blue one. So um, I don't know if the stores near you will have any of the blue ones or not. They had quite a few of the red ones left, but hopefully you'll be able to find a blue one if you really want one. But I just thought it was really cool. It reminds me kind of of the... Um, you know, Sleech Dragons or Sleek or however you say that. Somebody someday needs to tell me how to pronounce that company's name or maybe I need to Google it because I never know how to say their name. But it does kind of remind me of that stuff. So I really like this and definitely an addition to my like kind of animal figure collection. So that's some of the recent finds I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, you know, not a whole lot of stuff, but I really do like the stuff that I got. So I just wanted to share it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, you can support me on Patreon if you would like to. You can donate as little as a dollar a month to support the channel. And I guess that's it. So I hope you guys uh, have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.